and I'm thinking about sort of the common language that people think about baptism in, it's probably something like baptism is your first act of obedience, right? or it's an outward sign of an inward expression or inward change. Right. So with that sort of rhetoric, even as it's understood in that framework, would it be a work for them, the people that use their argument? Do they see that act of obedience as just a follow-up to what God has done? Or are they missing something that's saying, you may be leaning in on that act of obedience a little too much sure. in the way you have it framed? Yeah, I, I think they often do lean too much into that act of obedience. So they generally do see it as a response, right? And we're talking about those who believe in a not infant baptism, a believer's baptism only. And there are some differences there. So some people will talk about it as a means of grace, even from that perspective in some way. But but generally, I think the most common way it's understood is that, that it's that it's a work. And the, the problem then with any say, emphasis, strong emphasis on baptism would be, well, if you're strongly emphasizing baptism, you're strongly emphasizing your response to God's grace. And I think anytime you place something so essential in the hands of us, in our experience, then you, you're bound to end up with a lot of problems, like internally. Um, I know that it's, I, I heard a statistic and I wish I could recall the exact uh, source that I uh, yeah, heard this from, this is about 10 years ago or so, among Southern Baptists. And they said the average Southern Baptist was baptized two and a half times. Right? So between two and three times. And, and that accords with my experience with a lot of Baptist friends is, I, I know quite a few people that were baptized twice, three times. And, and the reasoning for that makes a lot of sense because if it's your response, you have to have a genuine kind of conversion experience that you're responding to in baptism. And there's always the questioning, what if I go through a period where I fall away or a period where I question, then you have to do it again to make sure, right? To make sure it really counted or something like that. So I do think that there is, is a danger in putting so much focus then on baptism as something that I'm doing that it just leads to doubt. Because if, if we answer the question the other way, right? The baptism is God's work, not my work, then it's God's promise. And God's promise is true and valid at all times, no matter what. Thank you.